Hello, it's Arit here. Welcome to another video on the Esatino Artist channel where we share all kinds of tips related to money, marketing, and mindset for creative entrepreneurs. In today's video, I wanna show you how to personalize the homepage of your YouTube channel. It's very important that when people first land on your channel, they get the message across right away, what you're about, and that can be done with your channel graphics, your banner and that kind of thing, but also with your videos. What does it look like? What videos do you have on your homepage? And also, can they find out more about you? So if you just created your channel, you might have noticed that it looks a little bit different from other people's channels. You might be wondering where the heck are these tabs here that I'm seeing on everybody else's channel. Now by default, YouTube gives you a very simplified layout because they want you to start populating with more videos, with your video uploads. And only once you actually have a regular video schedule, that's when they suggest to convert over to customize your channel. And the way to do that is by, you can see, you first have to be logged into your YouTube channel, come onto your YouTube channel, like I am on here on Esatino, and then click on, you should see a button that says customize channel. So when you click on that, it's gonna take you to this view right here. The next step is to just click on this little gear icon over here, and you'll see a box come up. So if you are brand new, you haven't customized your channel yet, this will be switched off. And in order to get those separate little tabs, you need to switch it on. So just, you can see it's a little toggle thing. You can switch it on and off. So make sure you click on it to switch it on. It should show up as blue and this will customize the layout of your channel. So when you click save, you should see the separate tabs come up here. So the next step is I would actually go into the about tab and write a description about your channel. You know, why did you start it? What kinds of content can people expect to see? And even fun facts so they can connect with you more and learn more about who you are, the person behind the channel. Put that in the description here. And this is also, you can edit this by the way, by just clicking on the pencil icon and you can make this bigger and type it in over here. This is limited to a certain number of characters. And you can see here, it'll kind of just stop you if you run over the amount of characters. So that's how you edit it over there. Next thing you can do to customize is customize the links that you have on your channel. So if you have a website, if you want people to follow you on other social media platforms, you just need to click on the pencil icon once again. And you can tell YouTube how many links you want people to see overlaid on your banner. So you can have up to uh, five links here. So people can click on that directly from the home page of my banner. Another great place to gain more visibility for a page that you want people to go to. So let's just say um, I want people to follow me on Twitter. You want to put that call to action there. And the cool thing is, is that if it's a popular site, um, they'll pull out the favicon, the icon related to that site and we'll, they'll show that on the banner. So just to show you an example, I'm gonna click done. You see how it pulls the little Twitter icon and when I go up here as well, it'll show it on the right hand side. Another thing that you can do once you've customized the layout of your channel, you've come in the about section, you can go to, back to your home page and you can customize the layout of how certain videos show, if you wanna put a featured video on, if you wanna customize the layout of your playlists. Now this will make more sense once you have more videos populated, as you can see we do. So I created a section for YouTube and then I put all of our YouTube videos in there as well as Etsy. So you can see that this can really be a great asset for people as once you have more videos, when they land on your channel, they can see right away what you create content on, which makes it an easier decision on them whether they want to subscribe to you or not. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. If you want to create more playlists, you can click on add a section and yours is probably going to be at the top. So the more content you have, that add section button will just be at the very bottom of everything. So here you can select your content. You can select specific videos. You can create a section on upcoming live streams if that's something that you do regularly and have them just show up on the home page. 
You can create sections for playlists, like I mentioned, um, as well as channels, you know, other subscriptions and, and that sort of thing. So let's just say I want to create a playlist featuring a single playlist. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to tell me to find the playlist on my channel. Let's just say I want to feature creative success stories. So it's going to pull up the videos in the playlist and you can decide the order whether you want the most popular videos to show from that playlist or the oldest to newest or the newest to oldest. You can configure that as well. If that's what you want to go for, you can then click done and then it'll be a featured playlist right here. So anytime you're featuring a playlist, I also advise to actually uh, write a description for your playlist as well. Like you can see here, you know, we have our creative business success, Camtasia, that you can see here there's a little line of description. So this is also good for SEO purposes too, if you could put certain keywords in there. That's just going to add to your channel even more. So make sure there are those little descriptions and you can do that by going into actually editing your playlist. And we have a separate video on the channel on how to do that. So I'll link to that one in the description below. And if you're needing some more help as well with YouTube, you just started YouTube, you're starting a new channel and you need some extra help on how to grow and what to focus on from here, we do have one-on-one -on -one private YouTube coaching where Jewel and I personally work with you through four Zoom calls and we give you an action plan. For every single session, you'll learn something, you'll learn how to apply it to your channel. We give you homework, you go and do it before the next session. We really wanna see you succeed with your YouTube channel because YouTube has been such a great asset for us. It's done wonders for us. So I'm gonna put a link to the YouTube coaching as well as some other resources for you like a YouTube content, a free YouTube content planning guide and some YouTube courses as well that you could check out below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.